Jesse is a Nunchaku wielder who hails from the Ryukyu kingdom. Unlike his father, a merchant bound to his kingdom, Maxi refused to be shackled to anything and so chose the path of piracy. With his eyes on the wider world and a trusty crew in tow, he set sail, drifting from adventure to adventure as he saw fit. Now, bound for India, Maxi's ship headed toward Southeast Asia. Soul Edge? The hell is that? It's some sort of legendary sword. This merchant here is saying it's being sold at some shipboard auction. Call me Lila. I need competent guards to everything. Plus, you have your own boat. Then I guess I'm for you. I've got a bad feeling about this, brother. Soul Edge. Him alone sounds like trouble if you ask me. You know me. I'm not turned down a beautiful lady. What a wretched job. We're pirates, not handymen. You're whining. Ignore my crew. They lack the finer social skills. Trust you'll be able to check. Uh, of course. I reckon we'll all get along just fine. <laughs> Kadana's gonna be jealous. Something's not right, I tell you. <sighs> Whoa, we've barely raised the sails. This don't look good at all. No time for gum flapping. my own strength sometimes. Yagaji, sorry, but I got another job for you. Yeah, brother, I've blistered my hands making improvements, but it's still far from perfect. Yagaji, how's your injury doing? Yeah, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to use my land legs for a while. Yagaji. I'm fine. It's a great chance for me to look for some good wood. Now, don't get rusty while I'm gone, brother. Not a chance. You've all seen how skilled a fighter I am. <laughs> Not necessarily the best, though, huh? <laughs> no need to add that. <laughs> Soul Edge. 
It's got dubious origins, I say. It's not too late to back out, you know. Don't get hasty. We're earning a pretty penny. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. We get paid, then we weigh anchor. That way, everyone wins. You sure you're a pirate? Uh, no rest for the wicked! Just magpies attracted to shiny things. Guess that means Soul Edge is one hell of a shiny thing. Looks like a whole lot of nothing to me. <laughs> People who can't fight want powerful weapons to do it for them. Even more people stopping by today. Too many for my liking. Couldn't relax. Yeah, it's almost auction day. What? Don't tell me you broke your nunchakus again. Yep, but it's no big deal against small fry like this.
we're gonna have to put up with being glorified bodyguards till we get to shore. Lila's got us eaten out of the palm of her hand. <sighs> You're still not over that? I've done a bit of asking around about her, and all I hear is bad. You worry too much. You need to work on that. <sighs> and you need to get over your weakness for women. To think you would be advertising a fake so boldly, if this were a play, you'd be the villain. Don't be absurd. Fools who take information at face value deserve what they get. <laughs> if you're going to kill them, now seems the perfect time. When things are going so well? No. I'll wait for the auction. And once it's over... <laughs> Damn! I knew it! Who's that? Uh-oh. Miss Oaf was listening in on us. Who do you think you are laying hands on my people? Brother, those nunchakus! <laughs> you Gaji's masterpiece. Oh! 
Hey, Cam, you brought that Soul Edge along? What? Uh, uh yeah, I, I just thought... That thing puts a huge target on your backs. But, but... I'll be taking that sword. See? I told you. the other. What's the big deal about Soul Edge anyway? This is all it deserves. Oh, what a waste. Even a fake's got its value. Couldn't care less if it was the real thing. These nunchakus Yagaji made are worth a thousand times more. Oh, so that's what you had in mind. Clever. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Lila's none too happy about all this. Well, I think we've been hospitable enough. All right, crew, let's go. Anchors away. Sure thing, brother. We're with you wherever you go. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. into the noble Chai House, a family of warriors. Fatherless, she was raised well by her kind and protective mother. In time, she learned to use her mother's Chinese sword to practice ancient techniques. Though her mother passed away at a young age, Shang Hua continued to devote herself to the sword, and in time, became proficient enough to do her family's name proud. 
Her life, however, was on the verge of taking a sharp turn. A long time has passed since your mother left this world. It has. Things cannot have been easy for you. I've never really thought about it like that. From time to time, I just remember what my mother said to me. Fate is carved with your own hands. Use that sword to open a way to the ever-changing future. So whenever I face challenging times, it's up to me to overcome them. Your attitude reminds me so much of your mother. <laughs> and my skill with the sword? That too, of course. With my mother's sword in I want to find my own path. Naturally. And if you wish to serve your country, like others in your family, that path may be open to you. How so? Apply to work for the Emperor's Guard. If you are serious, it may be worth considering. Really? Our country is facing difficulties. Perhaps times are changing. Even so, you must remember that you represent the Chai name. A slapdash attitude will not be taken lightly. You will be tested on your intelligence and manners, as well as your swordsmanship. Understood. Shanghua. I will, and then some. No one can match my skill. Lord. Don't hurt yourself. The exam has only just begun. I know. Oh, is that mooncake? Looks great. Ow! You can eat if you pass the exam. Good at this sort of thing. If you've got time to whine, you've got time to write. I hear your brother was on another level. He's not around anymore, so what does that have to do with anything? If I get into the Emperor's Guard, I could probably try to find him for you. You could. But to do that, you need to worry more about your exams than Mooncake, no? Okay.
be so many people. The exam must still be in its early stages. I can't believe there's actually another woman here. Um, and you are? The name's Liang Lingyu. It's an honor to be here with one of the Chai family. Oh, um, okay, thanks. What better way to get acquainted than by going around or two? Huh? Oh, sure. for justice guard for justice yeah justice will always prevail oh okay Another tough training session today. Want to get some food together, Ling Yu? How about we go for another round first? What? Now? What would you do if the Emperor was attacked right now? You couldn't just ask the enemy to wait while you ate, could you? Okay. All right. What? Fight! Go! 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 Go!
This is why I chose to stick close to you. You use a lot of different, but your foundation is solid. It's nothing compared to yours. I'm just doing what my mother taught me to do. If you've got one weakness, it's your mentality. No matter how good you are with a sword, you can't defend justice if you're easily discouraged. Hmm. I'm fine when I need to be. Hero's sword really exists? Shh. Don't mention that here. Sure about this place? I hear they have a lot of riots or ah! right on cue. Just try it, scoundrels! a horse. about it is it really worth risking one's life for if it's for justice then sure i wish i was as you ling you i haven't got a clue as to what i should do you impressed me with your ambition when you told me you wanted to become an officer but wouldn't your mother be upset she always said fate is carved with your own hands words of wisdom really yeah, it suits you. All right. I'm at her. That's the spirit, you two.
guess it was too much to ask for us to work together. Ling Yu! You do understand I'm back. Come on, fight me! But I... Your blade's shaking, Shanghua. I'll take no pride in like this. something. Ling Yu, I... Come on, Shanghua. What's with that expression? Don't cry. <laughs> Stand tall. Be proud. You are the victor. Justice will prevail. That better? <laughs> yeah. Better. Quest for the Sword of Salvation. So that's why the Third Corps is using the Emperor's Guard. Here I am, finally. Another path closed to me. In that case, fate is carved with your own hands. Use that sword to open a way to the ever changing future. Mother, Ling Yu, just you watch what I can do. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.
The Evolve organization is something of a legend. Long ago, the king of a knightly order took up the spirit sword to confront the wielder of the cursed sword. Lurking in history's shadows, the secret society has persisted through the ages. Their mission has been to find the lost spirit sword and bestow it upon their future king, while preventing those that they called outsiders from wreaking havoc upon the world. Gro, a young man blessed with a cool head and magnificent fighting skills, became leader of the organization's punitive force. They sent him on a mission to hunt down and kill the Reeker of Chaos, the Azure Knight. However, his entire force was destroyed, and he was dealt a nearly mortal wound. You are so fragile, so weak. Damn you, outsider! Submit your soul to me! Never! You have not defeated me yet! Am I... dead? dead. Kill... Kill, kill anyone, anyone still alive. Uh, uh, my soul, uh, it is being taken over. Hmm, he's being consumed by an evil force. There is no use in letting him live as a hideous monster. Perhaps I could kill two birds by having him fight that outsider I already experimented on. He's being held around front. to return to your senses. Dear Gro, you fascinate me! I was battling the Azure Knight. And you failed. Without my aid, you would be dead now. What of the Azure Knight? I could not defeat him. It took my all simply to bring you back with me. He's a malevolent king and wields the cursed sword. It would not have ended well for me. Blast! Could we assemble a new punitive force? You wish to challenge him again? So loyal to the organization and the cause! The extermination of outsiders indeed! Sacrificing everything, even your life, to achieve the organization's objective! Is it because of the hatred you bear for the outsiders? Those fiends who took your family, friends, and home? They are evil. All outsiders must perish. The deaths of my brothers shall not be in vain. Of course! How could it be otherwise? 
that's who you are. And so you must be cursed by fate. Oh, the tragedy! The drama is palpable! What do you mean? Ah, my arm! Have you not realized what has become of you yet? No, it cannot be. It can and it is. Your body is now partly infected by the power of the outsiders you so despise. But tell me, how does it feel having within you the very same power that robbed you of all you hold dear? Me, an outsider? Such despair, yet such hatred too. But fear not. If you had lost your senses and been consumed by the monster within, I'd have disposed of you. But that did not happen. You are not the fiend you think you are. You are still human. For now. <sighs> you wish to die though your life was saved? Well, that certainly aligns with the organization's belief of eradicating outsiders, those who've rejected and as such, you should die. But why not see this as an opportunity? The great power you've gained will aid your mission to fulfill that belief. You think I should use this power? Though it is a sin even for me to be alive? What foolishness. Such an act would betray the very organization I serve. But you could use that power to give you the strength you need to defeat the Azure Knight. Is that not so? What is this? A gift. When mending your armor, I modified it to help suppress the evil within you. It should ease your burden at least a little. Of course, in the end, what you decide to do is up to you. But fear not. I shall not report anything to the organization. You have done too much for me. Not at all. I love humans, especially ones such as yourself who are tossed about by emotion and reason. alive. Curtis, what do you want? How can you be so cold to a friend coming to check on your well-being? It hardly seems someone in your position would come simply for that. Though I number among the Twelve, the organization's supreme decision-making body, I can still make time to visit an old friend. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> your impatience is unbecoming. Still, you're as shrewd as ever. I have a new mission for you. To defeat the Azure Knight? Unfortunately, a different one of the Twelve is in charge of that particular matter. Even you, the strongest of the Twelve, were unable to defeat the Azure Knight. We need to try other means than brute force. Since I failed my mission, I assume my seat was forfeit. Well, among the Twelve wish it to be so, this mission is designed to convince them otherwise. In other words, this is a chance to rise from the ashes. I shall accompany you as an observer. Any mission to subdue outsiders, I shall do. I care not for my seat in the Twelve. Come now. I wish to lead you together with the organization. It's a selfish wish, admittedly. But you must assist me. Stubborn as ever. Well, some have always been too stubborn to respond to anything but greater stubbornness. Do as you please. That I shall. And accordingly, before I reveal more of the mission, I want to make sure you have not gone soft. Let us step outside. Roar for me! 
Careful now. I see your time and recovery did not rid you of your mercilessness. Do you wish me dead? Forgive me. That voice. It is the same evil voice from before. My fate is sealed. Fear not. You are not back to your formal self yet. How is the wound from the Azure Knight? Though not fully healed, it will not interfere with my mission. Is that so? Always trying to put on a brave front. Well, I concede defeat. Your wound must not be so serious after all. Are you done? Yes. Sorry it took so long. And what is the Intelligence Chief doing here? I would expect you to have better things to do as one of the Twelve. Crow, do not speak to our Master in such a tone. No matter. It is true I am free enough to see my two pupils. Moreover, I have information about the mission. Then say what you have to say, and be quick about it. Very well, I shall be brief. We have located a branch of the ancient outsider group, Fiegel Sestimus. Grow. you will initiate a surprise attack, and destroy the outsiders quickly. That is all. Understood. No mission I have ever accompanied you on goes smoothly. Indeed, the trouble you find yourself in goes beyond bad luck. Hopefully, this time will be different. can't escape me! In a matter of days, there have been floods, landslides, earthquakes, forest fires, and now merchants assailed by bandits. It's a perfect storm of trouble. You really were born under an unlucky star. What should we do? We're on a mission. Should we simply move on? Scum who prey on the weak are simply that. But they are not mindless outsiders. They're beyond our jurisdiction. Still, I assume no matter what I say, you will still try to help, no? If so, let us make it quick. You wish to use me as an excuse? How unfair.
weakness! Room. Your weakness! Room. Your weakness! Scarlet Silk No mercy! No mercy! Thank you so much for your help. Take this as thanks. We need no thanks. Just go. C certainly We have wasted enough time. Let us move on. Wait. Before we proceed, I must clear something up. What is it? When I fought you, something bothered me. And seeing you fight those bandits confirmed my suspicions. Your arm. What are you hiding? I heard that Aswell saved you. What did he do to you? He simply healed my arm. You know how skilled he is with such things. Indeed. However, is there not more to it than that? You're either trying to protect your arm or you fear something about it. Aswell created that armor too, did he not? He did. It is simply that my arm still hurts from the Azure Knight. There is nothing to fear. This is my opinion and nothing more. But I can tell you, because I trust you. Aswell is as qualified to number among the Twelve as you and I, but he is dangerous. Joining the Twelve requires the approval of more than half its members. You and I were both recommended by the Masters before being approved. It was the same with Aswell, but he has no loyalty to the Organization. Of course, the Organization has its factions. There are Radicals, such as you, who wish to exterminate outsiders above all else. And there is the Old Guard who consider coexistence an option. Still, all are loyal to the organization. All except Aswell. He acts with his own motives, and I believe it is only a matter of time before he revolts. Knowing him, it is certainly possible. Aswell seems to have taken an interest in you. If he is using you to fulfill some purpose, he could have done something to your arm. Indeed. Even if that is so, what reason would there be to give me such abominable power? Do not worry yourself. I have no recollection of him doing anything untoward. My wound simply hurts. Is that the absolute truth? Ever have you been cursed with bad luck and the propensity to get mixed up in trouble? I am concerned. That is all. Do not be. It is the truth. I see. Then I am relieved. Intelligence was right. Souls are being sacrificed to obtain the power of an evil god. These fiends have lost their humanity and become outsiders. Who the hell are you? Do you dare to interfere with Kumpeku's plans? I waste not my breath on outsiders. Die. No! Bring out the knight! Hurry! Ultimate creation, an undead soldier born of necromancy. It took countless sacrifices, but the Soul Edge Fragment finally granted us success! Soul Edge Fragment? The Cursed Sword.
strength! <laughs> An immortal cannot expect to win! You may as well lie down and die! All who dare mock us shall be destroyed! shall no longer do as you please. I shall do what I must to protect, to live. I shall harness this power to its fullest! the end, is it?
I suspected something all along. But when I pressed you, you tried to reassure me all was well. And I was in denial. I prayed it was not so. Answer me. Is this Aswell's doing? I know not. But he told me that I was cursed the moment the Azure Knight wounded me. A dark power seethes deep down inside me, making me crave flesh and blood. If I lose control, it will consume me. Without your power, we would have been done for. Some within the organization would recognize the value in having someone with the power of the enemy. However, to me, your power is that of the Cursed Sword. The organization must not allow it. But with this power, we could eradicate more outsiders than ever. You truly believe you can remain in the organization? It is the most efficient means of exterminating outsiders. No question. I see. In that case, you leave me no choice. Have at you! This place shall be your grave! Why do you not kill me? I never intended to do such a thing. Do you really expect me to accept you in that power? It would be a betrayal of our organization! I know. Once all outsiders are eliminated, I shall end my life to pay for my sins. That is why I need you to watch over me. <sighs> I should have expected as much from someone so unlucky. Your troubles know no bounds. Very well, you win. However, we are both betraying the organization now. When you pay for your sins, I shall too. You need not accompany me. Enough. Now, about that fragment of the Wicked Sword, you... A throwing knife? Who did this? Tut tut grow. All witnesses must be disposed of. Even if that witness is an old friend alongside whom you have fought so gallant as well. I shall be taking this fragment. Neither of you know its value. Damn you! <laughs> See this fragment? This is how you use it! What? what are you doing, Curtis? Let us see what happens when a fragment of the Cursed Sword is embedded within an able, ranking member of the Aval Organization! Such an intellectually stimulating subject, don't you think? I will not allow this! Huh? 
As a researcher, I couldn't possibly stand a chance against one from the punitive force. Or so you thought. However, by harnessing the energy from the cursed and spirit swords fitted into this glove, I am able to battle you both! Incidentally, it was I who manipulated the resonating wave energy to create that throwing blade. No! How could this be, Curtis? The corruption has begun. The stage is set for more of your sublime drama. Now, my dear Gro, what will you do? Your beloved friend is turning into a loathsome outsider. <coughs> Gro! <coughs> Hesitate not! <coughs> 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 Damn you! Don't you worry. All will be fine. All will be fine? <laughs> you really are a simple man, Gro. Thank you. All you have done for me. I shall take care of the rest. Yes. I believe you can.
Oh, dear me. Another precious life lost. But a monster that has lost all reason has no worth! Oh my, what a wonderful expression! The struggle between sorrow and hatred is simply sublime! Now, let that sorrow and hatred fill your heart! Come at me! I shall kill you! in sorrow, you could resist your destructive impulses. Such a magnificent sight to see. However, I am spent. I could not possibly take any more of this drama. A serious wound would spoil the fun of leaving the organization. What do you mean, the fun? Pursue me. Allow the desire for revenge to permeate your being, but do not lose your senses. I have been moved by your story, and shall never forget it. An earthquake? No, this must be. This place will soon be reduced to rubble. Perhaps we will meet again, should you live. I would like that. Farewell! Wait! <laughs> Damn these infernal fiends! Gro managed to escape from the crumbling temple, but his friend's corpse was lost in the rubble, never to be found. Gro returned to the organization to report everything that had transpired with Aswell. 
Waiting for him was the news of Orzel's death upon his defection, as well as a new mission. Aswell had double-crossed the organization in the hope of unleashing the evil seed again to save humanity. Or so he claimed. Gro's new mission was to kill the outsider Aswell before that could happen. I shall never forgive you. Your intentions matter not. You took my friend from me. Mark my words. You shall pay. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. You will be 
erased. You will be erased. It is here. Atone for the sin of weakness. The man with an Nunchaku must have fallen into the underground river from here. Luckily, the flow of the water here is sluggish. If he washed up near the surface, he will likely have been noticed. With any luck, he may already be receiving aid. If only Curtis had been so lucky. His body was caught in that collapse. If the power of the Outsiders was still in him, he, he may, may have, have come, come too, too, or even... I still have not given up on you. But right now, there is someone I must help, else he might head down a different path. Is this how you always felt, Curtis? Grow. Now that you're in my unit, you can't just do whatever you feel like as you have until now. No matter the mission, we survive and we come back together. Got it? Congratulations. As of today, you are part of the Twelve, just like me. Ironically, this means we will likely work together less. Wait, but then who will look after you? We must plan. Come with me to see Orzal immediately. I should have expected as much from someone so unlucky. Your troubles know no bounds. Very well, you win. However, we are both betraying the organization now. When you pay for your sins, I shall too. You need not accompany me. Sorry, but it seems you're on your own. Don't you worry. All will be fine. You'll be fine? <laughs> you really are a simple man, Gro. Thank you for all you have done for me. I shall take care of the rest. Yes, I believe you can. Even if you have fully transformed into an outsider, part of me wants to see you again. I wanted us to return together one last time, frozen homeland. But such is life. I must endure until I avenge you. After that, I too shall. Well, first I must ensure a certain nuisance with luck even worse than mine is well attended to. The time is almost at hand. I shall be there soon. <laughs> <laughs>